Joining me now is CTV Morning Live music guru, DJ Anchor. Good morning, sir. Morning. So, Paul Anka, legendary voice, legendary kind of a lounge-esque singer, Frank big, Sinatra-like. Big Room Vegas. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's starting a beef with Jay-Z. Well, he called Jay-Z to collab on his new album, and Jay-Z never called him back. So I don't know if it's a beef yet, but how do you turn how do you turn that down when already on the album he's got Celine Dion, Michael Jackson, and Dolly Parton? Well, he's Jay-Z. I'm not sure he needs Paul Anka. Uh, what I mean, what would what would they do together? Well, Suit and Tie was kind of a classy song, so we're going to do something okay. big room jazz. But either way, it's a bad look for Jay-Z. You respect your elders. You say yes. You go on the album. Maybe he, maybe Paul didn't call him. Maybe Paul's people called him, and he felt that was a slap. I don't know. These could have been disrespectful. Paul should have reached out directly. Yeah. Music industry beefs, they perplex me. Uh, all right. Now, uh, One Direction. Big, huge, manufactured boy band. Yep. And already there's talk of some of them doing solo work. Yeah, Harry Styles is kind of like the front man, has the curly locks that the girls love. He mm -hmm. wants to go solo, but it's kind of early. It's only about one, maybe two years into One Direction's career. So is that a smart move? Not sure yet. And some notables who've uh, branched off from their, their groups to do a big uh, so far have been Beyonce from Destiny's Child, sure. Justin Timberlake from NSYNC, and Gwen Stefani from No Doubt. Those are some big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I mean, he's what, 16 years old or something, isn't he? Yeah, he's young. He's the guy who dated Taylor Swift too, yeah. right? All right, well, he got some solo work. She wrote a song about him, probably. Anyway, <laughs> uh, all right, a couple of, of uh, fairly sizable music videos now out on the on the YouTubes, and I don't think they play them on TV anymore. No. But, uh, <laughs> Tim McGraw's got a new one, yeah. which is kind of cool. Um, a few high-profile hip-hop videos. I know you're excited about a couple of those. Yeah, Drake starting from the bottom, definitely excited for that one. Uh, and uh, Pink. Yeah. Pink's got a new one out. Featuring Nate uh, from the group Fun, and their voices definitely go together well. And a couple of cameos in the video, too. There's Nate from Fun right there, and Pink looking good with the shaved hair and whatnot. But there's a mysterious tattooed man, if they're going to show it here, in the video, and people are wondering who that is. It's actually Pink's husband, Carrie Hart, who's a yeah, motocross I, I dirt biker. I didn't pull a clip of him because it was a little risque. They were yeah. acting like a married couple for the most part, <laughs> yeah. so I didn't want to show that. But uh, Pink's also coming to Saskatoon. Yes, uh, October 24th at CUC. Tickets went on sale, I think, last week. There's probably a few left, but I know that one's going to sell out for yeah, sure. Yeah, I would not doubt it. That's a huge uh, first time for her here, yes. too. So that's cool. All right, uh, a couple of albums coming out this week as of yesterday. New Kids on the Block? I don't know. They they always try this every, you know, five or so years. Some of these yeah. boy bands to come back and redo stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to work. And then Bare Naked Ladies Bare -naked are trying ladies. to do it as well. Used to, we used to be huge fans of them, but you haven't really heard much of them lately. So will it sell? It won't do the million that maybe Justin Timberlake was expected to do. No. I don't know. 100,000, is that reasonable or is that lofty? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to check it out for sure. DJ Anchor, thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Back to the desk.